Hey guys, how are you going? This is Eddie. So I've done a few search videos now and uh, I'm determined to keep going until you need to learn uh, all the certs that you have done in high school. So hopefully you enjoy these videos. And the first thing I want to do is talk about an issue that we have mentioned in the previous lessons just to clear everything up for you guys. So I'll just uh, bring up a problem that I've gone through before with regards to certs multiplication. So let's say the problem was uh, simplify uh, the square root of a3 b to the power 4 times the square root of a to the power of 2 and y to the power of 2. Okay, so if you guys remember I said to uh, separate uh, the each term individually so I have square root of a3 times square root of b4 and then I have times square root of a2 and times the square root of y2. Right, and then I'm further separating the square root of a3 into the square root of a2 times the square root of a1, the square root of a, times the square root of b4, which is just b squared times the square root of a squared which is just a because 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 2 divided by 2 is 1 so times y. Now previously I said that when you square root uh, this term here you should, you should put a plus and minus sign in front of a. Right but upon further observation with some of the other examples in textbooks and on other websites I found that people don't need to do that because whenever we have a square root sign left so in this case if we keep on finishing this answer so square root of a squared cancels each other out so we end up with a squared because a times a is a squared times b squared times y times square root of a so I've covered everything now because we have a square root sign remaining and when we square root this alphabet this letter we're gonna end up with a positive and a negative anyway which will affect the whole answer and change it to plus or minus at the front. So you don't actually need to label it plus and minus at the front. Okay, so I hope that clears everything up for you guys. So you don't need to put plus and minus at the front like I suggested in the previous two videos. Okay, so now that we have done some revision on multiplication in thirds, I want to go on to using the distributive law. So the distributive law is that when I have uh, some thirds in brackets, so let's say I have the square root of 3 uh, multiply by inside the bracket square root of 4 times uh, uh, sorry not times uh, plus 7 okay so this requires you guys to remember how to expand uh, using the distributive law so I hope you guys remember that but basically it's if I have a term a in front of a bracket b plus c inside the bracket then the answer is a times b plus a times c so in the case of certs if I wanted to write it out as a formula I simply have square root of a 
times square root of b plus square root of c is equal to square root of a b plus the square root of a c. If I wanted to write it out as a general formula, but uh, most people don't do that. Okay, so now I'm going to multiply this in using the distributive law. So I have square root of 3 times 4 plus square root of 3 times 7, so that's just 7 square root of 3. And the answer is uh, 12 square root, okay. So square root of 4 is equal to 2 anyway, so I'm just going to change that to 2. So that's just, uh, this is just 2 times square root of 3. So, sorry, the problem turned out to be easier than I thought. Okay, now you guys can do uh, this one. So, square root of 7 times square root of... Uh, 10 plus square root of uh, 2. Okay, so you guys can do this one. Come back when you're done. So the answer is a square root of uh, 70 plus the square root of 14. And just check that these numbers can't be uh, simplified in any further so uh, can't think of anything right now so that is the final answer very simple okay let's do another one so the answer to this one have a go at it first before you watch the answer. Okay, so I have 2 square root of 3 times negative square root of 10. So multiplying these together, I will have negative 2 times the square root of 30. And then 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 times square root of 9 and square root of 9 is just 3 so the answer is negative 2 square root of 30 oops negative 2 square root of 30 minus 30 okay so that is my uh, final answer okay now the last concept we'll do is if you guys remember uh, when we expand two brackets so a plus b bracket and then bracket c plus d and if you guys remember how to expand so this is called binomial expansion is we basically get each term in the first bracket multiplied by each term in the second bracket. So we have the first term multiplied by the first term, the first term multiplied by the second term, the second term multiplied by the first term, and the second term multiplied by the second term. So that's expanding a pair of brackets. Okay, so applying that to uh, certs. So let's try to do this one. I have uh, 7 square root of 2 times 7 square root of 2. So that's 49 square root of 4 uh, plus 7 square root of 2 times 3 square root of 5. So that's 21 square root of 10 minus uh, then I have uh, 3 square root of 5 times 7 square root of 2 so that's 21 square root of 10 so the reason why it's a minus here 
is basically I have a negative number multiplied by a positive number and the answer is a negative okay and then I go negative 3 square root of 5 times 3 square root of 5 so that's negative 9 square root of 25 okay so simplifying that square root of 4 is 2 square root of 25 is 5 so the answer is just uh, 4 times 2 is 8 uh, 98 uh, plus 21 square root of 10 minus 21 square root of 10 oh so that cancels each other out uh, and then I have negative 45 so simplifying all of that the answer is just uh, 53 okay so let's do another one for you guys uh, 3 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 3 and then times by 4 square root of 7 minus uh, 5 square root of 6 okay so have a go at that come back when you're done so I have 3 times 4 is 12 square root of 2 times square root of 7 is 14 so that's that one and then I have a positive number times by a negative number the answer is a positive number times by a negative number the answer is negative 15 square root of 12 plus 5 times 4 is 20 square root of 21 positive times negative the answer is negative 25 square root of 18 so the answer is uh, well I need to think of whether any of these square roots can be simplified and I can see that I can simplify this one into uh, square root of 4 and square root of 3 so that 4 changes to 2 uh, plus uh, 20, 21 can't do anything and then the 18 can be simplified into 9 and 2 so that's 3 there so the answer is 12 square root of 14 minus 30 square root of 3 plus 20 square root of 21 minus 75 square root of 2 so that's my final answer feel free to comment if you see a mistake uh, have a good one guys uh, hopefully see you guys continue with with the search tutorials thanks for watching bye also happy new year